Minago ya be namakota je macha nakonia tehina. Ambo wash day. Namia tree so watch. Nakon machaja ish nakon ia wia machaja. Good afternoon. My name is Teresa Owatch. Uh, my Nakoda name is the language woman. Uh, my relatives from my nephews from the States um, blessed me with that name. Today um, we're going to learn some basic Nakoda. Um, three of the rules that I find we need to know to for just basic Nakoda. Um, rule number one is the sentence structure. We, I'd like to teach you a little bit about um, the sentence structure. Actually, that's rule number one and rule number two. The rule number one is the noun is always placed at the beginning of the sentence. Rule number two is the sentence structure. And then we'll carry on to rule number three, where I'm going to help you um, just, you know, conjugate simple verbs. And um, with all those, with those three rules, we all have to remember the rule of thumb with that. And uh, in the coda, our second syllable is always placed, uh, is always high. Um, it always has that little mark on it because you don't say um, we ya, we say we ya. And it matters in Nakoda when you speak where you hyphenated and it's always the second syllable. There are some um, rules where the first syllable is highlighted, but we're not going to worry about that today. We're going to just get through our basic Nakoda, our, 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 our um, rule number one. Um, rule number one is always the noun. I'm going to write your rule up here for you. Rule number one. The noun is always in the front of the sentence. Always starts the sentence. And I will give you an example on it, on it right now. Um, I have some few examples here. Let's do, let's do good day. This is how you say good day. Amba wash day. The day is your noun. And good is either your article, your article, your preposition or your adjective, and then your verb comes at the end. We'll go on to lesson, I'll go on to the rule number two right now. But for now, this is your noun. And everyone knows what a noun is. When I first started teaching Nakoda, um, I didn't understand that I, because English is, I mean, Nakoda is my second language, I had to relate back to my English. And we need to know what a noun is. Our, um, the noun is always first. This is your noun right here. Our rule number two for simple Nakoda is your sentence structure. And in your sentence structure, you have your noun. And then we have three things here. And then we have our verb at the end. Our noun, as you all know, is a name of a person, place, or thing. We have our articles. Different things, different people, different um, teachers have these, the articles, what I call articles are je, ne, ga, this, that, those, these. Those are articles that um, help make a sentence complete. And these are the, what, what are in the middle of your sentence. And there's your preposition. And then your adjective. And adjectives... If you all, you know, you know, you know all these adjectives add on. They're um, like, like sweet, red. They're just add-ons to make your sentence, to add descriptive to your sentence. Your verb at the end is always, um, your verb always in, inflects um, tense, aspect. Like the, your verb, sorry, verb, this could be uh, tagan, ambanen, Ade, 
huhujubina, knocked. The verb is, this day my father is going to Regina. He is going to go to Regina. And my, my verb at the last was knocked. He's going. Is that, and did I explain that in um, really good terms or really, hopefully you understand that? I know, um, the nouns, the articles, the prepositions, those are all English terms, but we need, to, we need to know what a noun is, we need to know what a verb is, we need to know what articles are, what prepositions are, and adjectives are, to help us better relate to the Nakoda. I know that seems strange to say, but as a second language learner, I think that, that that's very important that you know these, because it, it, it helped me. And you need to know what your noun is in your, in your Nakoda sentence. And finally, lastly, the last rule I'm going to um, concentrate on, uh, on, on these lessons is converting your, um, converting it, converting your, your singulars and making them into, um, gosh, here I go again where I lost myself. Yes. Making them into plural by adding B. And then also, with all these three rules that we're going to concentrate, there is also the rule of thumb, where the second syllable in every word, that will be syllable that's, see this is wa shte. Wa shte. Wa shte. That is the one that's accented. Second. The second syllable is always accented. We, ya, do, we, a, am, ba, da, gu, nish, da, gu, nish. So it's always the second syllable. Um, I've, I've, I've wondered, I've, I've thought about how to teach this. Um, how to teach basic Nakoda, and um, I, 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 I thought, I taught my grandchildren. Um, another thing, I'm sorry about my messiness. Another thing that um, beginner Nakodas like to learn is um, how to introduce themselves properly. You notice when I introduced myself, I said Namia. There's probably, like there's so many ways that you can introduce yourself, but I'm gonna teach you three today. Namia. You notice I said that this morning. Namia Teresa. I put my name here. You'll put your name there. Namia Donnie. Namia Edith. You know, this is me. That's what you're telling people. This is me. Um, now, I'm not going to spell with this. I'm going to spell so that you can read it, okay? I'm going to spell it phonetically so that you can read it. I'm, Because I'm not really one of, for spelling. I, I went through the alphabet, so that'll help you identify the words in the alphabet, but I'm going to spell my name like this. Ma, che, ja, Teresa. And this means, my name is Teresa. Ma, che, ja, Teresa. Now, I'm going to tell you Teresa Imagiabi. What I'm saying is, Teresa, they call me. Teresa, they call me. These are three just simple little words, ways that you can introduce yourself. There's actually, I could probably do a few more words. My children don't use these, either of these, but these are the, the simplest ones. Nami, Teresa. I like that one because, you know, this is me, Teresa. That's a, that's a good one. I like that one. So there's a, there, those are three ways that you can introduce yourself. Ma Cheja Douglas, Ma Cheja Donnie, Ma Cheja Amy. That, this is me. That's my name. My name is, that's my, that's what you're saying, Ma, my name. 
Trisa. Trisa imagiabi. Trisa imagiabi. They call me. They call me Trisa. And that's what that tr translates to. I hope that helps. As you know, Nakoda doesn't have a lot of um, resources. Luckily, we do have several. As you know, um, the late Wilma Pretty Shield and um, Armin MacArthur. This is a very good book for Nakoda beginners. It's a beginner Nakoda book. I um, actually use it quite a bit. I like that um, Vincent has, if you look, he's got all your kinship nouns, your greeting interjections, your, ver your weather verbs. He explains everything thoroughly. I'm sorry, I've got coffee all over mine. I've, I've used it quite frequently. Quite frequently. I will, um, before I start, I will go over the Nakoda alphabet with you because even though we don't have a lot of Nakoda resources out there, if you get this book, this will be very instrumental in, in some of your learning because he's got everything covered in here. Vincent and Wilma did an excellent job with uh, Armin's, um, Armin and Wilma did an excellent job with Vincent's help in explaining the best way possible to, um, I guess, dissect the Nakoda so that it can be taught. I myself am not a fluent speaker. I am like you, I'm a beginner, but I do, I do understand a lot of Nakoda. What I like to use for my classes is, um, I like to use Jerome Four Stars from down in Fort Belknap. I like the way he has it set up. It's so easy to understand. And um, the way he has his language lessons set up, he starts off with common phrases and terms and answers. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I like using this book because I will write down, I will write down the Nakoda. I'm not going to write down the English for you. I will write down the Nakoda. I will, I will say out the words. I will tell you what, it's, what it means. And then I'm going to write down the list of the answers that go with these phrases. And they're just like simple phrases that um, maybe I'll go through this. I'll write them down and then I'll go through the um, the alphabet because I'll show you what I mean with the with the accents on these things. Some of the questions have some of the questions have question markers. Now when I took Nakoda, we have, you know, like how you ever hear of W five? Well they have the who, what, when, why and where. Well Nakoda we have the five W's as well uh, the five D's, I'm sorry, not the five W's. Duwe, Dukden, Duke Duk we have five D words, and when these D, these D words are, um, they set off a question. So if your your sentence starts with, here's one here, uh, I will I will I will show you. Uh, I'll, I will give you an example. I'm going to ask you how you are. Doken ya u, and that is how are you? That's what I'm asking you. How are you? Now you see this D? It's doken. That's how. I can write this also as, and I believe this is um, because I'm not male. I believe maybe the men put this on the end. This is always a marker. Doken ya u he. Any question that you ask, if it, if it starts with a D, you do not have to put this. But if you feel comfortable putting it, then that's fine. You go ahead and put it. I, um, this says doken. Um, I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not your spelling teacher. I'm not here to teach, teach you how to spell. I'm teaching, I want to teach you common phrases that you can speak for yourself. So I'm not going to worry about the, the, the spelling. If you, like you want to say, spell Amba Washte, I've noticed different people spell Amba Washte very, very differently. Here is one way of, here's another one. There's all different ways to say, to write Amba Washte. 
in the dictionary or in the, this is how you will probably see it written. This is how it will be in the, any of the dictionaries or any of the things that you read. That's how it will be. But if you want to spell it like this or like this or like this and you can read it like that, then that's all that matters to me. As long as you know that this means good day. I do not care how you spell it. You spell it however way you want. And this is spelled phonetically. Um, I guess maybe one of the things I should have said that said at the beginning of this was all these sounds that come from the human uh, mouth can all be found in the International Phonetic Chart. And, and you go on your computer, you can find that all. You can find all these signs. That's how the linguistics help determine how to write our language. They figured out the sound and they matched it with the sign in, that, in their things. And that's how some of us, like if you'll notice in some of the books, from Vincent's book to the Fort Belknap book, the orthography, which means the writing systems are all different. And this, this is, this letter and this letter are the same thing. In this, in this, we use this. In Vincent's book, we use this. They're not wrong. If you want to write it with an X, if you feel comfortable making that sound with an X rather than the H with a cap on it, then that's fine with me. We just want you to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write down some, just some, um, just some simple phrases that, you know, come in, how are you, would you like coffee, do you want tea, and I'm going to help you articulate them. I'll write them down. You may write them down at home, and this video will be up for a while, so you can go through this video again. Let's start with this one here. Tin U. Tin U. Tin U. And that is come in. Come in. Now I'm going to ask you, how are you? I always find that if I write them down as I'm, I'm, I'm doing them, it, it sticks better. And you know, maybe, um, maybe that's something you want to do. Doken ya u. How are you? Doken, how, ya, you, u, are you coming? Doken, ya, u. Daya? Uh, ne ish. Ne. Dokenyashka. See, this is this this here is a nasalized a with a little the little thing underneath. This is not a sh. It's a sh sound. Dokenyashka. Dokenyashka. It is almost dokenya u, but this here is more like um, how are you going around? Like how are you going around day to day? It's more, it, 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 in the book it says, how are you both? And it does mean, how are you both? Just only maybe slightly, the slight difference is, it's, it's more like, like, how are you going around? This is like, how are you? And this is like, how are you going around? How are you going around? Another one that a lot of people um, use on a daily basis. I see... Um, Nabe chimnuzinkt. Nabe is your hand. Chimnuzinkt is I. The inkta is making that I'm going to do this. This is making it um, a for. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry. It's making it a future tense. That's the word I'm looking for. I will shake your hand is what this sent, is. This two words are saying. Nabe chimnuzinkt. Your hand. I will shake. And a lot of people, you know, you, you say, a lot of people like to say that because now with the COVID these days, you cannot shake hands. So maybe that's something that, you know, maybe that's something that we will use more now because of the COVID and we can't actually shake people's hands. I will shake your hand.
Iodanga. Iodanga. That one is a really good one for um, TPR. Iodang. Iodang. That's to sit. That's to sit. Now, let's get a little creative with that sit. Let's tell you Nechi Iodang. Nechi Iodang. And this Nechi is part of the articles that I told you about Nechi. How is he spelled Nechi? Nechi Iodang. Nechi Iodang. Sit over here. Nechi is over here. And is to sit. Sit over here. Jechi Iodang. Jechi Iodang. Jechi Iodang. Sit over there. Sit over there. Um, if there's any um, little phrases that you want to know, maybe you can, um, you know, put some questions on the bottom of this. I'm not sure. This is not like doing the live, I guess. Uh, like when the live, when you do the live stream, if you want questions, they, they'll just pop up on your screen. Dagu dokanu. Dagu dokanu. Dagu? Doka, and they've got this spelt like this here. Again, a D word, the question mark, or the question marker, hey. Dagu doka nuga. Dagu doka nu. Dagu, what? Doing? And uh, what are, this is, what doing are, what are you doing? No, yeah. And then you can say, dagu doka nu nuga he, if you're a man, because the, the men, I'm very sure the men use that. Um, <clears throat> um, another, another question we like to ask people is like, are you well? Daya ya u. Are you coming along well? Like daya ya u. Daya well. Ya you u. Coming. Are you coming or uh, like again another D word, which which will require daya ya u. Are you coming along well? Dokan yashka daya ya u. Or daya wa u. You, if someone asks you. Daya ya u, ha, daya wa u, daya wa u. You tell them, ha, I, yes, I'm coming along well. I will get to the answers for these right away here. Um, another one is, do you want coffee when someone comes in? I'm going to, I'm not going to spell it like that. I'm going to spell it. Somehow I don't think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Chuchnach yabi. These are the H's. In this, we're, in this textbook of Jerome Four Stars here, he uses the H. I'm using the, I mean, he uses the X. I'm using the H. Chuchnach yabi ya ching. Ya meaning you. Chuchnach yabi ya ching. Do you want coffee? Chuchnach yabi, the men would say. Chuchnach yabi. Ya ching ahe. Um, one of the things I, I will, will say, I, I will add on here is, um, you see this A? It's always in the words. Some of the, the different um, phonetics that I've seen, this would be spelt. Because you don't really hear that, fluent speakers will not say, Dokan ya chinga, Dagu ya chinga. They will say, Dagu Yaching. 
See, you don't hear that A, it's Dago Yeching. But I, because I'm, a, I'm, I'm like you, I'm a beginner speaker, I'm just learning fresh, I always add the A. And after you get fluent and you learn to speak more, you will notice that you slowly, that will slowly disappear. You, will, you won't say that anymore, the more fluent you become. I always say it because it's there, it's spelt like that, so I usually say it. Um, another one people ask is, oh, sorry, I'm going down here, I'll try to write more. Do you want tea? Hey, remember I told you about the, the five W's, that um, who, what, when, why, and where? Well, Nakoda has the five D words, and they mean who, what, when, why, and where. Duwe, Dagu, Daguchen, Dohanech, Dukden. Duwe, who, Dagu, what, Daguchen, why, Du, Don, Dona, and when. And those are our five W's. And when these, these words start a sentence, you, 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 don't, you, you never have to use your question marker, he. And I, I'm, I'm saying that to the women, I guess. I'm sure that in um, Armand will say that the men use the he. That's a man term because there's, the women say things differently in Nakoda than the men do. Um, my older brother and my, my younger brother would be different, would be, I'd say for my, uh, my older brother, Nitim Noon, that's my older brother. I will, I will, um, we will, I will come to the difference in that, but for now we'll, we'll, we'll work on this here. These are your five W's. Another thing that I think that we need to go through before um, we go any further is the alphabet. Um, I'm going to go through the alphabet. Um, I'm going to use Armin's dictionary. All the alphabets are basically the same. They all make the same sound, so it doesn't matter where you get your alphabet from. I'm going to use the, the one out of Vincent's book. Um, I do have another alphabet that um, the book that I'm using from, Jerome Four Stars, and, and they're pretty much the same as um, the book that uh, Vincent and Wilma, uh, Armand and Wilma made, the, Nakoda, the beginner Nakoda book, I'm going to call it. Um, as you know, Nakoda has eight vowels, five regular vowels, and um, three of them are nasalized vowels. We have glottal stops, we have a couple of stops. Um, we've got some really re unique sounds in Nakoda. And that's why it's very important to, um, to articulate the Nakoda properly because if you don't articulate them, um, you could be saying some bad words like, um, I'm going to give you a wood, cha, that could mean wood. Now if I said this another way, if I said che, it means a man's uh, body parts. So you have to be very careful in how you articulate. So that's why I'm going to go through the alphabet with you. Um, I was going to start with the vowels, but I think I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, you know what? I will start with the vowels because Vincent's, um, uh, they started with the vowels in the new, in, in this book, in the beginner Nakoda. So I'm going to start with the vowels here. We have, like I said, Eight vowels. Oh, here is our first vowel, A. A in um, Nakoda, our A is the equivalent to the English Nakoda as in at, a, at, at. That's how that A sounds. And then if you want to go into This one here, he has a K. A, at, a K. A, a K. And this means 
again. If you, um, when we get into the numbers, if you see the AK, you'll, you'll know what that, like, that, that will help. Now, we're going to go into our nasalized A. Our nasalized A is always written with a little hook underneath. And that nasalized A is, uh, um, this one here, they have man. The English version is man. Uh, for the nas for the um, <coughs> for the nasalized a in uh, Nakoda, they're using wood. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the camera. This a and this a. This is a uh, a uh, ke. Uh, uh. It's like um. How would I explain it? You block the the back of your nose off, like you know how when you're um. When you're gonna cough or you're when you sneeze, that's a good one. When you sneeze, you go and you block that back of your nose. You know, you go like how you block your nose, uh, uh, and that's where that sound comes from. It's like blocking off your palate to your nose and going, uh, 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 cha, cha. I hope that helps. I'm trying to do the best that I can. Let's go on. Let's move on to our E's. This E is equal to the English bet. Bet. But in Nakoda, we say our E like this. And this is here. Nen. Eh. Nen. Nen. Now we're going to go to the nasalized E. And your nasalized E, sorry. We don't have a nasalized E. <laughs> Thinking about my eye. Let's go on. We'll move on. This is the only. This is the only way you'll you'll see your E. I'm going to go on to your I. I, for this I in English, it would be. It's always this. Um, like beat E E. Your nasalized I, however, it'd be like. Mink, ink, ink. You hear that? E. Our nasalized vowels go a, e, o, a, e, o. I'm gonna go on to your. I'm gonna do my o first before mink. This, this, this. Um, this would make. This I would make it. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I should have finished with this one before I moved on to this one. But this, this word would equal into Nakoda like this. This word would mean Nina. Nina. Beat ni e ni. Beat Nina. And this is like, I don't know, berry. I guess I was gonna this would this means berry. Nina wash date. Very good. Sorry about my spelling here guys. Mink, this this nasalized I would be um, in the Nakoda beginners. It says to mean that I am uh, gonna have um, a baby, which is spelt me. See, I can't do that one. Mean. Okay, okay, just wait. I'm gonna think about. Miknujankt means that I'm going to have a baby. That's what that this word means that I'm I'm saying, and that's what Vincent has or um, the beginner Nakoda book has for this I miknujankt, and it means I'm pregnant. And he, it's spelt like this here. And then there's a stop. Mink Nujank. I'm see mink me. And this is always I don't know, I always find if, if I put two E's like this here, I find it it's easier for me to learn. I mean for me to remember. It's like saying e mink, but yet there's an N in there, so that's not right. Like mink, 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 miknujaka, miknujaga, miknujaga. 
We'll go on to our O, and which equals, our O sound equals the English open, open. Now, we're going to go on to our U, and our, our, what he used for in English is omna, to spell omna, and that means to smell. Sorry, I forgot to do that. So that's O, like open, omna. Our U, however, is, makes the um, U sound, as in our English two. U, dokenya U, two, dokenya U. Our Nakoda, our Nakoda word that um, they use in this book for that is suda, to be solid, suda. Suda, see, two, suda, and that is to be solid. Now this U makes the U sound. Um, in the Nakoda, the beginner Nakoda book, he has noon for that sound. And that noon, that U, equals This noon sounds like hunga, which means chief at Nakoda. Noon, hunga. See that u? This that that. Sorry, I forgot to put the hook on. Hunga. See, notice ah, e u. Your nasalized vowels ah, e u, ah, e u. Ah, I hope I hope that's a a good explanation of our vowels. I will go on now to the um, the alphabet. The nasalized vowels aren't really that bad um, if you practice them. Like I said, ah, uh, e, u, uh, and that will help. I usually block off the, the the back of my nose in your throat here. Ah, uh, e, u. Uh. That's how I make that sound. Um, we're going to get to some really fun sounds here. The H is going to be a good one. But we'll go ahead and we'll go through the rest of our alphabet. In Nakoda we have B's. Our B sound will always will always make the B sound as in bat or boat. B, B, B. Uh, what the Nakoda equals in Nakoda, the sound that it will equal in Nakoda is oh, basnoha, basnoha, and that means to push something, basnoha, basnoha, boat, ba, basnoha. It sounds the same as the, it makes the same sound in English as it does in Nakoda. Now, for C, we have ch -il. Ch il All the Nakodas, um, all the, the, these will spell, will always say, make that ch sound, ch -il. And our Nakoda equivalent to chill is chaba, 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 and that is a beaver. Ch, chaba, chaba. Now we have a C. Now, this C can be spelt like this, this C can be spelt like this. It makes the same sound. And this is a sound that we don't have in English. Um, this, again, it sounds like this. Um, what does he have here? He, he has that in the Nakoda, in this Nakoda book, he said that there's no sound in English that makes that sound. But they have a, a word that it makes in in Nakoda, 
This is what this sound makes. Cheech, ooh, cheech, ooh. And these will have either that or that sound or this on them. Either this, sorry, this, this here, which is going to give it, it still sounds like this, but it's spelt, it's, it's got this sound on it, which means making, it's not a chaba, it's cheech, ooh. And that means I give you. Cheech, ooh, cheech, ooh, ch, cheech, ooh. We're going to go ahead to, the rest are pretty, other than these and the, there's a, just a couple more that, um, pretty, they're pretty much like the sound in English. The D makes the D, the damp, D, amp. Our Nakoda equivalent is Dagu. D, D, amp, Dagu, Dagu. It, it just means like what? Now, now it's going to get interesting. This, this, this G is my favorite because in Nakoda we have two Gs. This G will make the sound like um, equivalent to the word gum in English, g-um, g-um. And the sound some of the words that, that have this word, this is a good one here. Gua, come here, gua. See, gum, gua, g, g. That means to come. Now this sound, uh, what does he have here? Again, he has, it's not found in English, but he has this for the Nakoda sound. Um, for this, I like to use the word because this has both G's in it. And this here in Nakoda, it means to make. I will articulate that to you, but it has ga, ga, ra, ga, ra. See, and that's how this word is, is, is said when I, um, Teach the young children, you know, the gitezebi, the really young ones. I always tell them, like, pretend that you're, um, you know how it is when you clear your throat? <laughs> you know, I, I hear a lot of men, you know, expelling uh, saliva like that, but they go, <laughs> but it's not a harsh sound like that. It's more like a <laughs> kind of a, um, a softer sound. My, uh, my late sister Frida used to make fun of me because I really, really, pronounce that when I when I first started learning ga I would I would yell at her uh, but it's not as harsh like that it's a, a softer sound ga 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 can you hear that I know that's kind of tricky but that's the G that's our G in Nakoda now we're gonna go on to our H's again and H's we have two H's as well in Nakoda this H makes the sound as equivalent to the English happy, huh, huh, happy. In our Nakoda, he has this, they have a equivalent to the, the Nakoda word happy, hia, huh, happy, hia, which means no in Nakoda. Happy, hia, see, it's the same sound. Now this one gets tricky. This is the H with a little cap on it. Like this G, this, this H makes, it, it says it's, there's no sound in English, but our, in, our Nakoda um, translation, our Nakoda word to help you articulate this is Hoda, Hoda. And this is a, the color gray. See, like gara hoda. Um, in the book that I'm teaching from, Jerome, he uses the X, and that all makes the same sound. These all make the same sound. There's different um, words that make the same sound. A lot of, um, I find in Fort Belknap, they use a lot of this, the Xs, and that's what is used in, um, 
the book that I teach from. But these two sounds, this is the same. This will equal this sound, just so you know. Next, we're going to go on to J. J in Nakoda makes the sound of the English jam. J, J, J. And our Nakoda is, he's got... Jusina, which in Nakoda means small. Ba, ch, chil, ch, chich, u, chich, u, ch, d, g, gr, ri, ri. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what this is. This is the equivalent to the word yellow for Nakoda. I should tell you that, I'm sorry. Ri, ri, ra. See that? It, it, it starts in here. It starts from down here and almost comes all the way up through your throat like that. Ri. Same as the hoda that starts in your throat down here. Hoda. And not as hard. I know, I, I find that I, I really, really um, articulate those good. Hoda. You ever see um, some sort of like the words back in the day? I remember the older women when us kids used to go around playing or something, oh, nag, they'd say, like, you know, I don't know what that, what exactly that means exactly. I think it's just an exclamation mark, like, for a holy cow or something like that. But I know my mom said that a lot to me, about me when I was younger, so. When you say that number eight. Huh? Oh. When you say that number eight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what was I on, J? We're going to go ahead. Our K sound. We have two Ks, actually not two Ks as it is, one is a stop, but this K sound is equal, this K is equal to the English keep and equivalent to the Nakoda Kua, Kua. Um, okay, that's what it means, I wasn't sure. If, and this means like he chases. He chases. I just laugh because uh, I thought about my late uncle and my mom. I remember my mom telling him that about, and I think it was in in uh, in reference to some weas, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my my mom scolding my uncle over that. <laughs> now this here is a stop. It says in the Nakoda book we don't have a sound for that in English. But for the Nakoda sound is like he gives. That's what it means to give. To give. And another one I, I believe is to kill. M is very simple, very straightforward, just like English. It makes the same sound, mine, mm, mine. Our Nakoda word that we have for this is mina, mina. And uh, this is nasalized as well, mina. This here in Nakoda is a knife, mina. Now, we'll move on to the N. N like N is pretty safe, straightforward like the the I. This is like in night. And for the Nakoda, he has nuwa. Nuwa. And that is to swim. I had to look at it because I thought that was nuwa to sing. Nuwa. But it's to swim. Now we're going to move on to our P, and the English equivalent is just like Peter. P, P, Peter. The Nakoda word they have used is paha, 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 and that is your hair. P, Peter, paha. It, it makes the same sound in English as it does in Nakoda. 
Our N is straightforward as well. It makes the sound like night, n, n. And for our English word, <laughs> how come I'm doing N over again? Peter, I didn't flip my book, that's why, sorry. We have two Ps, I'm sorry guys. When I start thinking, I, I lose it. This, again, we don't have a word. It says that we don't have a word for this sound in English, but for this sound, the Nakoda sound for this is chup o. Chup o. That, that's that P there. Chup o. Chup o. It's like a stop, yeah, I was going to say it's like a stop. This here, chup o, this means to be foggy. We've got a few foggy mornings this last little while with that hut and that cold front. Now we're going to go on, move on to our S's. In Nakoda, we have two S's. The first S makes the sound, as in English, to sit. S, 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 s. The Nakoda, uh, the Nakoda equivalent to this sound is siha. Sit, siha. And that siha, that's your feet. Sit, siha. Now, this S is like, oh, I took that page down. This has got a cap on it. And this S makes the sound. The, the, the sound, like in the word shadow for English, shh, 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 shadow, shh, sit, shh, shh, shadow. It makes, it takes the place of this. This thing makes it sound like a shh. And the Nakoda, the, co the Nakoda equivalent for this sound would be shunga, shunga. And that U in shunga is also nasalized, shunga. And that is a dog in Nakoda, shh, shh. See that? We're just about going to be done with the alphabet. We have a few more letters to go through. Our other, our T. Our T, this T in Nakoda is equal to the word team. T, team, t, t. Our Nakoda word that it, it is, um, is equivalent to t, team. Tano, Tano, and that is meat in Nakoda. Now we have our other T, which again is not, we have no sound in English, and that T has a little thing right here. And that is a stop. We don't have a sound in English for that, but for in Nakoda, the, 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 the Nakoda sound, sorry, stumbling over my words, is ta. And that is ta. Ta. -a. That's how I'm sorry, I'm not saying it right. Ta. -a. Ta. -a. And that is to die. Ta. -a. Ta. -a. See? You stop. Ta. -a. And then you finish. Ta. It's like a stop. Our W in Nakoda is pretty straightforward as well. This one here is same as water. Wa, water, wa, wa. Our Nakoda word that it's, it's equivalent to? Wa. Water, wa. Wa. You ever hear uh, wa hi ha? This is just snow. Wa hi ha means uh, terrain. Oh no, it is snowing, sorry. Wa, snow. Wa, wa. Now we're got, gonna go down to our letter Y, and that's gonna be winding us down shortly here. This letter Y is equivalent to yes. It makes the same sound in English as it does in Nakoda with yes. 
And our Nakoda equivalent is Yatka. Yatka. Is it a G or does he have a K? Yatka, I would put a G. Or Yatka. Yatka. And that is to drink. See, I'll say it again. Yatka. Yes, Yatka. Yes, Yatka. Now, we are going to go down to our last two letters of the alphabet, which is Z. In Nakoda, we have two Zs. One with a cap and one without a cap. Now, this Z is equal to the, the English version of zipper. Z. 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 Zipper. And this is equivalent to the word the, the Nakoda word, ajuno, 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 ajuno. And that is to be full. This word, I don't believe that there is, oh, he does. Oh, yeah, good one. This one is equivalent to the word measure. Jure, measure, this word here. This is the sound here that you're trying to get out of this word. It's equivalent to this sound, jure, j, j, measure, j, j, measure. And our Nakoda, oh gosh, this is the one here. I'm backwards and I was thinking that when I wrote that, that's not right, but I, I, I thought that I was not gonna argue with a book. I'm wrong. This is to be full. Sorry. And this zipper is, see, that's what I thought too. He's got these backwards, but I'm reading backwards. This is zizibin. This word is equipment, it, the Nakoda word to zizibin, which is a thin cloth. Zizibin. Zizibin. And it's a cloth. It says a thin cloth, but I, I, I'll put cloth. See, and I was thinking that when I was writing this, that's not right, but I kept going. But yeah, that this is the je, aju, ajuno, ajuno, measure, aju. This g, that's this sound right here, je, je. And then lastly, but not least, he has a button. And that's the little mark right here. And that, that sound is this here, he has the equivalent to the word button. And the equivalent to that, I'm not, is wa o wa b. Wa o wa b. Wa o wa b. This sound, I'm not sure what sound he's, he's after in here. It has to be, yeah, yeah, because it here, wa, there it is right there, wa, o, wa, bi. And this is, um, that word in Nakoda means paper, books, it could be, uh, it could mean paper, it could mean book, but it's, it's what, it's something you read. And that's what we're after, I guess, here is this wa, o, wa, bi, it's that stop. And that takes care of the, um, the Nakoda alphabet. Okay, I think I shared basically what I wanted to share with every one of you. So I'm going to go into my lesson book. You can download these. They will be available on the page. You can download these and go w through them with me as you go through the lesson. Um, as a, uh, again, I, I, I'm going to tell you that th these books these books were um, made by Jerome Forrestar from Fort Belknap. They're a very, very good way to learn just basic phrases, common phrases. It's a very, very good book. To start beginning, to start your learning, your, your lessons in Nakoda. Now, I'm going to write our lesson, our um, rule number one up here, the language rule number one, we'll call it. And that one for for the for the first chapter in Jerome's book, he talks about 
the first rule, and, and, and throughout the, the, the continuation of these um, videos, I'm only going to concentrate on the three rules and the, um, the rule of thumb. Now for, like I told you before, the, the, the rule number one is the sentence, the way the sentence, the Assiniboine sentence structure, unlike the English, um, the Assiniboine noun is almost always, always placed at the beginning of the sentence. And then the noun is followed by a verb or um, an article, a preposition. Um, the example that they give in here in this, in this thing is, I want coffee. And that's how he starts his, uh, his, and what he's, what we're trying to tell you is, I want coffee. I want coffee. Hochnachyabi wachinga. Hochnachyabi, coffee. Chinga is to want something. I'm putting, saying that I want coffee by adding the wa in front. Um, as we carry on, you'll find that when you talk about yourself, it's watchinga. Nuha. If I'm going to say I have, it's always nu, me, nuha. You is always ya. Ya. Us, as we get into further, as we get into the lessons more, you'll find that us is always starting with u. U chinga bi. Hochnachya bi. I want coffee. And we're going to get into the verb to, to, uh, to pluralizing these verbs pretty quick, right here actually in the first lesson. Now, I'm saying, I want coffee right here. Watching. Now, I'm going to ask you if you want coffee. And because my sentence does not start with a D, I'm going to put the he on here because it's a question marker. Do you see the difference? Now I'm saying I want coffee, but now I'm asking you if you want coffee, and I'm changing the beginning, and I'm adding he. Because it doesn't start with a D, I'm adding the he to make it a question so that the person that I'm asking the question to understands that it's a question because he is always the question marker. Now, real quickly here, I'm going to, I started writing down some of the common, some of the phrases. Um, we got up to, um, what are you doing? So I'm going to go ahead, if you, you can go through the video, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my number nine on here, as you will see. It's just a number nine. And it says, are you well? We didn't do that one. No, we did. We did coffee. I'm sorry. Um, we'll go all the way down to number 12. We did those before. Do you want coffee? Do you want tea? Number 12 is just one simple word. And it is wada. The, um, <clears throat> if I know the hand signs to the words, I will put them on as we go. And this is wada. That's the hand sign to wada, and as you can see, wada, it, it, it means what, what it says. It means to eat. Wada. Huh? It's my favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> wada. Oda, oh yeah. And has an oh, explanation yeah, mark line. underneath. Wada. <laughs> Daguch. See, number 13 here. I'm not going to write numbers down. I'm just going to write them. But this is, this is a D word. And it has, it's spelt in here like this. It could also be spelt like this. And I will spell it like this. I'm not saying that, and then it's daguch, that's all, that's the same, daguch, daguch, 
See, I'm, I'm over, I'm over um, saying that, that G, this G. No, this G is not that, it's this here. It's da, this G, I'm sorry. Da guch, da guch. That's this H here, that makes that hochnach ya bi. Uh, that makes that sound, that da guch ya ching. Da guch ya chinga. And he doesn't have a question marker because of the D word, but it is a question. And this means, what do you want? Da guch ya ching. Da guch. That's a good one. I like that. Da guch. Chaniska ya ching, you know. These are just like common phrases that, you know, you might, might uh, ask someone throughout the day, if you're a smoker, do you want a smoke? Chaniska ya ching. You can say chaniska ya chinga he, because it doesn't have a D marker, but chaniska ya ching. You're asking chaniska, which is, this is, um, I don't know, I'm going to say a smoke. It's tobacco, actually. Tobacco, white. You want. That's what this translates to, see? And if you go through the rule number one, your smoke is your noun. Chaniska yaching. Does that make sense to you? Is, is, is it coming? Here's another one. Another uh, common phrase that you might um, want to ask your mother. And this is, again, this is a question. Mazaska nuha. Yuha to have. Mazaska nuha. Mazaska, this is, um, this is iron, white and you have. Now, I guess maybe I should have said if I was gonna, I don't know why, but this means, this, is, this, this translates to do you have any money? I know um, the mazaska this year refers to the paper money. If you want, if you want to refer to the coin, the coin that is um, <laughs> gashpabi. And that is and that there's I mean there's there's actually for, uh, words for nickel dime quarter and penny but this gashbabi that refers to your coin okay well carry on do you, do you have any money nah you've heard nah nadua and I'm asking you, who are you? Na due. Na, that means here. Na due. We're going to go through the phrases, the answers for all these. Okay, I gave you some phrases, some greetings and some phrases. Now I'm going to give you some responses to those phrases. And then we're going to um, just conjugate one verb today. And that's going to wrap up our lesson one. So I'm going to give you some responses for the phrases that I just gave you on the board. Here is a, I'm going to write them all down, tell you what, I'll write them all down and then we will go through them. I'll say them, ha, hia, daya wa u. Daya Yashka Nish Nambechim Nuzinkt Daya Waush 
I will explain that one to you right away here. Sijawa'u. Penamaya, that's a good one. Huh, Sorry, I was saying I was gonna uh, I was going to say them for you. Huh, Chaniska watching. I'm not uh, I'm just spelling them. How I'm spelling them is not how um Ha, mazaskam no ha. Watching ish. And mak u. And if you'll notice, a lot of these have the signs that we had. Ha, huh. ha, huh. yes. Hia, hia, no. Dayawa u. That would be a response to Dokanya u. How are you? Dayawa u. You would say, I am fine. Dokanya u. Dayaya shka. Are you well? Dayaya shka. Are you well? Nish na bechim nuzing na bechim nuzing. I remember that from the, from the first part na bechim nuzing. And I, what my friend will come back and say, huh? Nish na bechim nuzing. Yes, you too. I will shake your hand. Nish means you too. Dokenya uh, un. I'm asking someone, how are you? And if they're not well, this is what they would call me. This is what they would probably tell me. Dai. Dayawa ush. I am not coming along well. You know, maybe they've had a cold or something, but he's not, whoever that is, is, they're not doing well. Dayawa ush. Another one, how are you doing? Oh, sijawa u. Bad, I am going around. I'm going around badly. Sijawa ush. Sijawa u. I am coming around or I'm going around. I'm coming badly. Wa u means like to be coming into. Sijawa u. And this is like bad. The, you ever see. Um, the older ladies, sija, they'll tell you. And that's the sign for bad, sija. Panamaya, that is, everyone should be grateful. Panamaya, that's thank you. Ha, hochnach ya bi watching. And that's the, the, that would be the answer to hochnach ya bi watching. Do you want coffee? Ha, hochnach ya bi watching. Ha, yes, I want coffee. Ha, hochnach ya bi watching. Right here. I'm going to jump down to here just for that. Mak'u, give me. Ha, wakhpe watching. Yes, I'll have some tea. Mak'u, give it to me. Ha, chaniska watching. Yes, I will have a cigarette. Mak'u, yes, I will have a cigarette. Give it to me. Ha, mazaska mnu ha. This is a good one. I used to struggle with that mnu, that M and N. But that mnu ha, it means I have. That's me. Mm. Nuha, I have. Ha, huh. mazaska, nuha, I have money. Watching ish. Hochnach ya bi watching. Here, hochnach ya bi watching ish. Do you want coffee? No, I don't want any coffee. Hochnach ya bi watching ish. And maku, give it to me. Maku, chaniska maku. Hochnach ya bi maku. Let's give me. Those are the phrases that you can, um, th 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 the, these are the answers to the phrases that you can practice with. And these, these, these phrases are, they're very, very simple. Before we leave today, um, I've got a few more um, 
words here that are in your diction or in your thing that we didn't? We I never gave you. Oh, I did. I give you the word yes. Sorry, Daya. I did the word sija. I also did the word coffee. Oh, jeez. This is an ad. I was spelling it wrong. These are also words in your list because at the end, I will have a small um, quiz at the bottom at the end of these uh, lessons. And they're not, you do, don't have to send these quizzes back to me. They're mostly for your benefit to, um, to see if you could answer these questions. You can go through the lessons and you can go through the, um, the quizzes and see um, how you are making out as your uh, as you're going through the lessons. Okay, these are some of the words that are also in your vocabulary, and this is on page six. Ha, huh, which is yes in Nakoda. Daya, which is good in Nakoda. Sija, which is bad in Nakoda. Hochnach yabi, you've heard that often. That's coffee in Nakoda. Asambi, you haven't heard that one. That is milk that you put in your coffee in Nakoda. Chaniska, you've also heard that one. That is a cigarette. Kada, that is to be hot. Um, I noticed that Ambanen uh, Kada is it a hot day? Here, they use Mashta, um, which is warm, and Kada. Uh, kada, I, I always think, refers to the food, and the Mashta, I believe, is refers to the weather. Hia. I watched Dances with Wolf yesterday, yes, the other the other morning there, and I the, the lady was hia hia. She was backing up. I had to laugh. No, no, she was telling the guy. <laughs> Washte is good. Wachbe. This spelled different ways. T mini. That's your water, as you know. Nambe is your hand, remember, from your before. Chem oh, I'm sorry, chashmuyabi. That would go in your coffee. That is your sugar. And osni, which means it is very cold. Well, not cold. It's not nina mashti, but it's very cold. Now, there's some other um, translations, and uh, there are exercises in here. If you can go ahead and do those exercises, the, these pages, these three pages, Every lesson will be up after the. Every lesson will be up on the page after um, we're done with it. Now, the last thing I want to do for the day before we leave and say goodbye till the next time is I want to help you um, conjugate a verb, a simple verb. You can help. Uh, I'll help you conjugate these verbs. I, I will explain it to you. Let us, um, we've, we've used chinga all this time. Let's use it again, because it, it's, it's in the book here. And this equals to want. When I ask you, let's say I want something, I'm going to tell you I want coffee, OK? Hochnachyabi wa chinga. I want. Hochnachyabi wachinga. Now I'm going to change this and I'm going to ask you if you want coffee. Hochnachyabi ya chinga. You notice I changed a front. And that is you want. I'm changing my want to you want. I'm not wanting anymore. I'm asking you if you want. Now, I'm going to ask this lady over here if she wants coffee.
just, you know, just this lady over here. This is our first, our second, and this is our, be our third. And this, this is stays, always stays the same. The third person always stays the same. Chinga. That's Chinga. Hochnach ya bi Chinga he. Hochnach ya bi Chinga. She wants coffee. Hochnach ya bi Chinga. She wants coffee. These are all the singulars. Now we're going to pluralize these. We're going to pluralize this I want to we all want. And remember, earlier on I said, un, un chinga bi, we want. So we're going to change this, this wa that I want to un, so that we all want. We are all wanting un chinga bi. Now, we all want coffee. Hochnach ya bi un chinga bi. We all want coffee. Now, you see all those people sitting over there? They all want coffee too. Hochnach ya bi ya chinga bi. Hochnach ya bi ya chinga bi. This here is pluralizing it to more than one and as well as ya chinga bi. See? Ya. Ya. You all. And this B is making it more than one. See? See here? Ya chinga. You want. Ya chinga. B. I'm pluralizing it to make it you all. This B is changing it to all of you. And it's all of you that want coffee. Now, if they all want coffee, no one in particular, third person, it's chinga bi. Hochnach ya bi, chinga bi. Not anyone, not specifically those people, but the whole room of people. Yuhan, chinga bi. Yuhan, hochnach ya bi, chinga bi. And that is, they all want coffee. And that's just the same. That stays the same, but you add the B to it, pluralizing it to they. Chinga, chinga B. There's a couple of little um, things that are written in Nakoda as well as in English. You can go ahead and um, pluralize those, or uh, go ahead and change those from your lesson. None of the lessons, none of the words that I use will ever not be in these books. I always try to make sure that every word that I use will be in these books. And that's why I had to go through that last word because I used some of the words that I didn't, I hadn't introduced you to. But now, every word that I've used today are in these three pages. And that is your first start of teaching you just basic. Huh, huh, I'm huh, huh. Well, I guess I was going to tell you, let's go outside. That's in the next lesson. But tagani iyao, injuk dabi. Let's go outside. We'll smoke. That's what I'm telling you. Hopefully, these little common phrases, you know, you can carry on. You can practice. I know it's really hard. I myself, um, I'm home alone most of the time, so I'm usually talking to myself. But it helps with articulation, especially like I said with the Zs. The C's. Uh, uh, there's, there's, there's some that um, are, are tricky with the tongue. I wish you all the best of luck. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me or ask me any questions. Um, I think that's going to wrap up our lesson one. I hope you've learned something and it's been a pleasure. And we'll see you again real soon. Thank you. Me no go ya be na ma ko ta je ma cha na ko ni ya te khina.